Hi, this is Bo Sanchez and welcome to Kerygma TV. You know, at the end of the day, when you think about a saint, it's really all about the love of God flowing into that person's life and that person just responds, responds with love. That's all. And my prayer is that if you watch this show, you will experience more of God's love in your life. will ever need you know the Bible simply says it states that Jesus came everybody say Jesus came Jesus came said that you would have life you 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 everybody here you and me Jesus came so that you and I would have life and not just life but have life to the full how many of you want to live a full life Jesus came so that you would enjoy your life, okay? A lot of times, a lot of people think that in order for them to enjoy their life, it means that they won't have any problems at all. Like they think, when I get rid of all my stress, then I'll enjoy my life. When I get rid of this issue, this, this, this problem, this difficulty, then I'll be able to have a full life. Here's the truth there is no such thing as a life without problems it's not the absence of your problems that will make your life full rather it's the presence of God in your life in the midst of all your problems that will make your life full it's all about the presence of Jesus and having life with him you agree with me if you agree with me shout amen Amen. So stop trying to endure the life that God called you to enjoy. Amen. How many of you want to enjoy your life? Again. Amen. Why don't you keep your hands up, high five somebody beside you and say, God wants you to enjoy your life. Today we are finishing and ending what has been such a powerful series called The Way of the Saints. Has God spoken to you in this series? Did you receive a powerful message, at least in one of the talks? Yes? That's good. Today we're going to close this series with a powerful message, with a bang, and we're going to have fun. Is that okay? So are you ready for a word from God? 
Everybody say, I'm ready. Let's do this together. Let's all come in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Everybody stretch your hands out in the air and say, today I receive all of God's love for me. Today I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today I open myself to God's Word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today I proclaim that I'm God's beloved. I'm God's servant. Shout it out! Because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Are you ready, everybody? Extend your hand towards the Word and say this and sing this with me. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Amen. We're going to be reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1. I'm going to re use this. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin was named Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. Everybody say favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled. Everybody say troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greetings this might be. Can I invite you to, to pray with me? Put your hand over your chest as a symbol that you pray with all your heart and just say this with me. Jesus, let your word be so powerful. My life will change and I will never be the same again. Let your word be so powerful. It provides, it heals, it transforms in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Give the Lord a big hand and love Him. Love Him this day. So good. Thank you, Jesus. I want you to high five some 700 people around you and tell that person, you are pregnant. Some of you look pregnant. That's me included. First trimester, other second, others labor pains. You know, it's so good to be here ending the series, Ways of Saints. And it is powerful just, just thinking about how God has called us to be a saint. Look at the person beside you and say, hello, saint. In talk one, we, we discussed how, how, you know, it was a word study. Each talk was a word study. And the first talk was Hagios. Everybody say Hagios. Hagios means to be set apart for God. To be set. Everybody say set apart. You know, I, I just came from Naga and, and we, we gave a seminar there. Uh, Vanya was there and uh, uh, the, the whole, you know, some of the, the team. And, and we, what is a wonderful. Imagine if Audie and I were in a mission trip, you know. And uh, let's, let's say we stay in the same hotel and in the evening, I, I receive a knock on the door and it's Audie. And Audie says, uh, Bo, can I borrow your toothbrush? <laughs> you know what? As much as I love Audie, and as much as Audie loves me, and as much as how close we are to one another, I want you to know that my answer is a 100% categorical no. I love you, you love me, but no. You know why? Ask me why. Because that, that, toothbrush. That's mine. That, that's mine. You understand me? I want you to know this, that God 
He looks at you and he says, you're mine. You're, my, you're exclusive to me. And sin cannot use you. And evil cannot use you. And greed cannot use you. And pride cannot use you. And the devil cannot use you. Only I, your mind. Do you understand me? You, you don't look so happy. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Punch somebody in the shoulder and say, you're exclusive for God. And then we move to talk two, and talk two is telem. Telem is a Hebrew word that comes from the book of Genesis where God says, you know, God created you in his telem, in his image. And wow, man, think about that. Think about that. I was, uh, can I give you a little peek of what I do every day? May I? People don't know this, but every day, I mean every single day, no exception. This, I'm not exaggerating. I make one minute videos by the bucket load. Every single, one minute. Why one minute? How many feasts are there all over the world? 500 plus, conservatively. Each of those 500 plus feasts, they request me to make a one minute video greeting during their anniversaries. How many days are there in a, in a year? 365. How many feasts are there? 500 plus conservative. So I am supposed to make these one minute videos during their anniversaries. I am scared when the feasts would number 10,000. <laughs> Can you just imagine how many videos I make? Now, when I send my video to a feast, in, I don't know, <laughs> Bahamas, <laughs> or, you know, there, there are feasts all over the place, right? I'm not there, and yet, because of the video, I'm there. Are you ready for this? Are you sure you're ready for this? You're God's video. <laughs> Can I change my analogy? <laughs> Tell somebody beside you, you're God's video. You know, wherever you go, God is there. He chose you to be His picture. He chose you to be His image. So not only are you hagios, not only are you set apart for God and exclusive for God, you also are His image. And wherever you are, God is there. And then we go to talk number three, kenosis, Greek word from the book of Philippians chapter 2, where Jesus emptied himself for you. And it is an invitation that all of us do the same for God. So, so we're set apart, number one, and then we're shaped into his image, number two. And then, and then he, we're invited to empty anything in us that does not belong to God so that, and this message Fourth message of our series. This is so beautiful. We cap the entire series when you are chosen and selected and set apart, and then you are shaped into His image, and then you, are, you have emptied yourself for Him. He now fills you up. He now fills you up. The fourth word of this series is not Greek. It's not Hebrew, it's Latin, and it's not found in the Bible. It was declared in the Council of Ephesus, 4th century, declaring Mary to be Theotokos. Theotokos, everybody say that. Tomorrow, when you go to school or to, to the office, you can, you can just drop these words, you know. Hagios, Chalem. Kenosis, Theotokos. And when your office mate asks, what's that? I don't know. I just <laughs> learned it yesterday. <laughs> Theotokos is one who gives birth to God. Mama Mary is a, gives birth. She is a, touch somebody beside you and say, you're pregnant with God. <laughs> because yes, Mama Mary is Theotokos. Mama Mary carries God, but 
in a lesser degree, all of us do. Ask me why. Because Colossians chapter 1 verse 27 says, Christ lives in you. Do you believe in that? He, he's actually there in you. Put your hands over your chest and say, Jesus is here. Jesus lives in me. You are a Theotokos. Tell somebody beside you, you're a God carrier. Wherever you go, you're carrying God. This morning, Angel Gabriel appearing to a teenage girl from a very poor barrio called Nazareth. And she, her life was good. I, I, I'm not saying like, you know, like good in the sense that she has a fiance. She, there, she was going to get married. I'm sure she had plans. And then all of a sudden an angel appears to her. And the angel says, you, oh, highly favored. Everybody say favored. favored. That, that, that's what the angel told her. Highly favored. How many of you would want the favor of God? Raise your hand. Do you want the favor of God? You know what? After my discussion, after a few minutes of talking about the favor of God, I'm going to ask you that question again. Do you want the favor of God? And I do not know how many will raise their hands after my explanation. You know why? Ask me why. You see, when you say favor of God, I mean, you look at the reading. It says, the angel told Mary, you are highly favored. And then it says in the very next verse, and Mary was greatly troubled. You know, for us, when you say favored, favored of God, you know what, what comes to your mind? Ask me what? You think of, of that moment when you were walking in a mall and you saw your favorite pink blouse worn by the mannequin and you say, wow, that's so nice. You look at the blouse, oh, it's so nice. Then you look at the price tag, oh, it's not nice. <laughs> and so, and so, but two weeks later, it's your birthday and your sister gives you a gift and you open the package and it's your pink blouse. The exact same thing. And you say, Lord, you're so good to me. Favor. Lord, my sister, why did she know? Of course, you posted it in Instagram and you said it was your favorite. But, because, but anyway, Lord, thank you. We think that that's the favor of God. You know what? This morning, some of you came here with your car. You entered the gate. And then... And then you saw an empty parking spot. Just a few steps to the door. What do you call that? Favor of God. Ba'it ba'it ni Lord. That's what we define favor of God. I'm telling you that may be a little part of what it means to have the favor of God. But that essentially is not. Ask me what's the favor of God. The favor of God is He gives you His presence and you carry it and you're pregnant with God and you're supposed to give birth to God and guess what? Your heart will be greatly troubled. Your Put it this way. We think the favor of God is this. Your life is troubled and then when the favor of God comes, Ay, mahal ako ni Lord. All of a sudden, the tr trouble is gone. In Mama Mary's case, it's not the case. Mama Mary, her life was fine. 14, 15 years old during the ancient times, that was the time when you have a fiancé, okay? Now, that's the time where, that's the time where you play. You're still playing, but never mind. <laughs> 14, 15 years old, she gets engaged. She has a fiancé. And, and uh, just plans. And then the favor of God comes and her life is totally a mess after the favor of God. You understand me? 
We think the favor of God is this, that that cute office mate that you were crushing on for some months all of a sudden approaches your desk one morning and says, let's have coffee together. Oh. <laughs> After 16 years of not having a boyfriend, finally you might just have one. Favor of God. That's how we think the favor of God is. But in Mama Mary's case, you know what, her, what the favor of God was? The favor of God was, you're going to have a child, and he happens to be God. Huh? What? what? Lord, I've, I've got a fiancé. His name is Joseph. W what's this? You know, my wife and I, we just celebrated uh, last October 17, the anniversary of our being boyfriend and girlfriend. I, I want you to know that I, I keep forgetting that. I, I'm, I'm just a one-track guy, mind person. You know, I, I memorize our wedding anniversary, which is pretty easy because it's also my birthday. <laughs> if you're someone like me, you forget things, marry your, your fiance on the birthday, on your birthday. So. No brainer. But my wife still wants me to remember October 17, which was the day she said yes to me as a girlfriend. I'm trying to remember. I forgot October 17. <laughs> she, she came up to me and she said, have you forgotten something? You know, the moment she asks that question, I'm in trouble. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> October 17? <laughs> it's funny. She said, October 17, I said, what happened today? Oh my gosh, I'm in trouble, I'm so free. I'm, I'm, I'm messed up. Anyway, anyway, imagine if 21 years ago, we rewind 21 years ago, and she came up to me. Imagine. No, 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 Let, let's do it when, when we're engaged already, okay? When we're engaged. And, and we really did not do the thing that married couples do. You know, we, we decided, no, postpone. That's okay. We'll, we'll, we're okay. We'll do this. What if one day she comes up to me and say, uh, Bo, I've got something to tell you. Yes, excited for the wedding? Yes, yes, I'm excited for the wedding, but uh, I have something to tell you. I'm, I'm pregnant. I'm, I'm pregnant. You, but we haven't done it. I mean, I mean, I wanted to, but we haven't done it. Well, you're pregnant with whom? Um, Holy Spirit. <laughs> so here was Mama Mary. Her life was fine, she was engaged, fiancé, about to get married, all of a sudden, favor of God, and she has to say, God, I'm going to lose my fiancé. My parents will reject me. My whole neighborhood will reject me. My friends will reject me. Her life was turned upside down. Do you understand me? That the favor of God can do that because He has a purpose for you to give birth to God. To the world. The world needs God. And God is saying, I have a mission for you. You're going to change this world. But it's going to be topsy-turvy in your life. My dear friends, if you think that the favor of God is just a parking space, you've got it all wrong. He wants you to bless the world. You and you and you. You're going to bless the world. How? You're going to give birth to God, to your office, to your school, to your friends, to your family, to the people around you. And it will mess you up. We think that the favor of God is comfort. Yes, sometimes God comforts you. But there are times the favor of God is He will disturb you. He will disturb you. And in the midst of that disturbance, I was just with someone in the, in, you know, last, last week when we were doing mission in, in the U.S., there was this mother who came up to me and, and she said, Brother Bo, 
my life was good. My, my husband, we came here to the U.S. We got, we got jobs right away. And then after some, some time, we were able to buy a house. And, and we were so happy. All, both of us had our own cars. I mean, we, we, felt, we felt so blessed. And then I got pregnant. And man, it was so complete. Husband, wife, house, car, job, U.S., baby. Until one day, the doctor told us, our child has severe autism. And our whole world came crashing down. And I went to God and, and she was saying this to me with, with just crying, crying, you know, tears flowing down her cheeks, just saying, Brother Bo, I, I said, Lord, why? Why? But then she said this. She said, that was a few months ago, Brother Bo. Today, I want you to know that I've wrestled this with God. And I need, I need to tell you, I still don't know why. I don't know why God allowed this to happen. But this I can tell you. I love my son. I love him. And he is the greatest blessing to me and my husband. Wow. You know what? That woman, she's going to bless the world by her faith, by her love for God. You understand me? She will be, she inspired me the way she talked to me. She's going to inspire so many people. She will stand up before people and say, my son has autism and we're a complete family. And I love my son. Can you just imagine how people who have kids that, are, that, are, that don't have that disability will realize, yeah, I think I also need to love my children. <laughs> you know, am I making sense to you? My cousin Reng, Reng Morelos, Wife of Hermie Morelos. Hermie and Reng, they've been serving with me since I can remember in the light of Jesus. Like, like I, was, I was 15, 16, 17 years old and Reng was already there serving with me. And, and, and Hermie, he handles our publications ministry and our radio TV ministry. Reng, she, she goes with him, supports him. They take care of all the feasts in Australia, New Zealand. And then Reng had cancer. And, and she said, Lord, is this how you reward me and her me for serving you? We don't get it. We just don't. And then, nagtampo siya kay Lord. Have you ever experienced that? And th that's what she did. She said, Lord, <laughs> why? Today you talk to Rang, and she will tell you. She will tell you. Cancer, it was a favor of God. Because her faith has grown so much. And she will continue to love God. She will continue to serve Him. She will continue to bless people. And, and it's amazing when you look at her. God has healed her, by the way. But... She's cancer free, but because of that ordeal, she's just a different person now. You got what I'm saying? She's given birth to God when she tells that story to people. I'm gonna invite you to pray with me. Because God, this is this is this is it. God has a plan for you to carry God and give birth to God to the people around you. May I invite you to lift up your hands if this is a comfortable posture for you and just say this after me, Jesus, I thank you that you set me apart. You choose me. I am made in your image. You created me to be like you. And so today, I empty myself 
and offer my life to you Jesus thank you that you are in my heart that you live in me that I carry your presence in my life stations if you want somebody just to pray for you to release you to where God is calling you to what God wants you to do if you want somebody just to lay their hands upon you and feel free to do that just come and as we worship him as we love him let, let this be a rich time where God ministers to you touching you healing you blessing you
to the Lord of God. Holy fire, burn it all, dying flames, we enkindle, spirit come, spirit us a new revival. Purify our desire, let your presence overwhelm us, spirit come, breathe in us a new revival. Spirit come, light us all. Let your love ignite the embers in my soul. Spirit come, consume me it all. Let this fire spark the anthem of my soul. Spirit. po si Jolly Arquero. Na-diagnose po ako ng breast cancer stage 2 noong August 2015. This foundation thrives on volunteerism. We gather everybody. We try to collect funds. We try to see what we can do for that gathering. Volunteer ako since uh, September 2015 when JCCFC started. We have uh, pastoral care. Sometimes we have mass. Sometimes we have Feast video. Ang mga natutunan ko po na mga aral, mula nung natulungan po ako na umpisa ng GCCF Foundation sa pag-attend ko every meeting, marami po sir. Every time na nandito po ako, nakikita ko po yung mga kapwa ko na masigla. So parang ako'y nabibigyan din po ng saya. Some of the challenges that we have are yung know, raising funds. Because unlike other mercy ministries, na donors can give clothes, food, not necessarily money. Since we extend financial assistance uh, 
cancer patients, the foundation is heavily dependent on donors. To the potentially new donors, be with us because uh, there's no other better way than to help the least of our brethren. Sa mga mabubuting loob dyan at malaking puso na tumutulong sa GCCF Foundation, maraming salamat at malaking blessing po sa amin na mga may sakit at may karamdaman. At naway, huwag kayong magsawang tumulong sa amin dahil marami po kayong nabibigyan ng chance na mabuhay muli. Thank you. Hope begins with you. Thank you and hope begins with you. Thank you. Hope begins with you. We are doing an exciting work. Really, we're able to change lives through this show. Families are being reconciled and reunited, you know, parents to children and siblings. It's, it's beautiful just seeing all of this happen. And you know what? We need you to be our partner so that we can continue this mission. Your prayer, your support. For any amount whatsoever that you give to this mission, we would like to say thank you. We'll be sending you talk one of our series on ways of saints. And for a gift or a donation of 2,000 pesos or more, we will send you all the talks of the series plus my book, Five Things to Do Before You Die. And I pray that all of that material we'd like to send to your home just to bless you, share it to your friends and family. The contact details are on the screen right now. I, I want you to tell us, hey, Brother Bo, I want you to count me as a partner, you know, and, and we'd, love, we'd love to do that. Thank you so much. I believe that God is walking in our midst. He's walking through the aisles and between the rows, and He's touching, and He's blessing. As we continue to worship Him, I want you to believe that His presence is here, Embracing you, continue to be in his love today.
want to give you the opportunity to give your life to Jesus today let's renew our baptismal promises together as a people to say yes to God I know that there are some of you here who are receiving a distinct call to do something dangerous for God <laughs> or something that will impact the world for Jesus I want you to, to be like Mama Mary who said yes. Are you ready? This is a choice that you have to make. I will not force you to do it. But if you're making this decision, then join me. For, those, for some of you, it will be the first time you're doing this. To give your life to Him, let's do it together. Raise up your right hand if you're ready. And just say this prayer after me, Jesus. I turn over my life to you. Forgive me for all my sin. I receive your forgiveness. I receive your love. And from now on, you will be my Lord and I will follow you. My answer is yes. Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word thank you brothers and sisters are you ready to give your life and to say yes to the mission that he has for you everybody say I'm a God carrier I'm a God carrier I'm a God carrier Jesus name I receive your love by your grace I have been saved I receive this life by your cross I've been set free you are desire is that your life gets more beautiful every day because of the love of God. And so thank you so much for joining us here in Kerygma TV. This is Bo Sanchez here in Kerygma TV. Live a fantastic life.